Lucian. Look at a beautiful sunrise. I love it. You don't know how much you miss if you don't wake up early. I love wake up early. It makes my day easy. Time lasts longer. Good morning, my little girl. I usually worry about breakfast. I cannot start the day without it. The most important meal. It gives me the energy to begin with the activities. And if I think about breakfast, I think about eggs. This is a primarily source of protein. I found really healthy and delicious to use an omelette with eggs and spinach. A complete green vegetable that provides us with potassium that helps avoid the muscle cramps and spams and iron that is essential for red blood cell production, muscle oxygenation and also fortify the immune system. So to begin on, planification is essential if we want to see results. We need to have a plan to pursue our fitness goals. So I know we have different goals, but I can give you an idea of what you could take if you want to grow your glutes. This is a whole week of workouts in which my only goal is to increase my glutes. If you are a beginner, it's really important to have a routine for at least three months. If you are in advance, you already know that we had to play with different routines, changing our workouts, playing with reps and sets, and changing ways to see results. I found leg push down an essential exercise for glutes. It really target the glutes maximums, glutes medians, and the adductor magnums. Also, it's a great way to target heavy so we can get better results. I like to perform hypertrophic technique in some exercises, not all, because it causes fatigue. The purpose of this kind of workouts is to get resistance so we can work longer and harder. And of course, it also helps to grow muscle mass. Something that I love to do is work out in supersets. It really helps to burn fat and grow muscle mass. Another exercise that really is helpful and you can see me perform in my workouts is a step up. I found it super important to build a great glutes. So it can be performed in different ways, but the important thing is that you eventually can do this harder. And I mean with harder, that you can start with the step to get equilibrium and posture using dumbbells and barbells, and finally do this in the bots, where you can have high angle to perform this harder. It will definitely to pump your glutes you will notice that your glutes get definition and get bigger. RDL is known as one of the best exercises for glutes. It's on you to perform this in different ways to get the best results. So I like to do single leg RDL because I think that we need to get strengthening in our legs in individual way. RDL with dumbbell is good, also with barbell. I mean, all the ways are okay, but sometimes we need to try harder in order to see results. Here I perform single leg RDR in a step machine with a 45 pounds plate. It will definitely pump your glutes, it work pretty good your hamstrings too, and give you a strengthening in your core. Another exercise that is really helpful for your glutes is hip thrusts. This exercise can be performed in different ways barbells, dumbbells, plates, you can use them all. You can also do this in the bench, in the floor, in the machine, all or different ways to perform this exercise. The uh, focus in the same target, the glutes. Something essential to know about this exercise is the posture. It's really important to know how we should move so we avoid any lesion in our back or neck. So it's really important that if you never had to do this, try to perform this in the floor without any equipment. Once you get the technique, then you pass to the bench with some weight until you perform it heavy. I think the machines are essential and are a great tool to perform some exercises like a swim machine. It's a good way to do hip thrusts heavy and you have more stability in your back than if you perform it in a free way. Always free way is harder. Lucky butt is a great exercise to perform in cable machine. 
it let you do heavier and also we can perform hypertrophic technique doing different sets raising or weight and if you want to do this harder you can do also supersets it will be great to pump your glutes i performed this exercise in a step i gradually went for one step to four steps to make it harder so there we go we have an exercise in which we are performing hypertrophic technique with supersets and adding a step up that is a mega exercise that helps you build a strengthen muscle endurance and super strong core with high intensity and low impact workout it challenges your balance and stability creating a full body engagement this is a squatting cable machine i found this a great way to work glutes but also get a strengthening in our core this is a fabulous exercise i use the step to have a bigger range of motion i also gradually do it heavier and I try to work until failure, that is about 30 reps. So I do 3 sets with 30 reps. It challenges your balance and stability. It works all the muscles in your legs, quads, hamstrings, glutes. I like to do this exercise with lateral cable kits. This is a great way to hit your outer part of your glutes so this hit your glutes median and minimums. I work this also gradually raising the waist doing until failure usually rests between 15 to 20. So kind of like I always when I cook rice, I usually use jasmine rice and i always when i'm going to do rice i wash the rice with water and i save the water in a little container i put this in the refrigerator i use this during the week it is pretty good for your skin it's gonna keep you a really nice color it's going to clear your skin if you have some spots with another color and also if you suffer of acne also gonna help you with your skin so you better try this rice water put in there so i try to cook some fish with some rice and some vegetables sometimes i like to buy those salads that are coming already like kind of like hot already. I'm gonna toss in a little container and it's gonna be ready. Uh, we are going to put some dressing and it will be all ready. I'm gonna put this Thai dressing. It's like noon, but it looks like uh, it's gonna come and start soon, so... <gasps> Fuck! Don't rain, don't rain, don't run, don't run, don't rain, don't run. <laughs> it's kind of, I guess it's tricky. I feel it looks like it's gonna rain, so. This is the feeders. I have put some food. This is for water. Oh, it's empty. Rollybox is not here. 
So, there we go. I'm gonna put some food there. Hey there, I'm going to put some food. Hi. You don't have to hide from me. I'm going to put some food, alright? Hi, Boggy. <laughs> Boggy's here. I don't know that Boggy was uh, coming. Hi, baby girl. She wants the mommy to give her something, eh? She's so sweet. So cute girl. Mm -hmm. Good, beautiful, you beautiful. Alright. What do you have in your head, eh? The baby girl. I love you. It's going to run. Working loose not necessarily had to be boring. I really love let's say it's my favorite. I try to hit my muscles differently and harder every time. Here I'm doing let's push down in my chin. I usually change the way I work this. Sometimes I do hypertrophic, sometimes I do supersets, or sometimes I work really heavy. Short repetitions but really intense. Working until failure. It kick the glutes in different ways so your body do not get accustomed to the exercises and you always get results. Like I told you before, a step up can be performed in different ways. And here I'm doing this on a box with a barbell. I also raise my weight gradually from 30 pounds to 60 pounds doing reds between 15 to 20. You get strengthened. Another way to challenge this exercise is to add curse lunges. So now I'm doing curse lunges in a step up. It's really hard. So I suggest to try it first in a step before you do this in the body. It definitely will pump your glutes. I really love step up. This is another way to do RDLs. Using the barbell but also doing a front displacement make it Hotter. It will give you strengthening in your core, back and arms. It is a complex exercise. I like to do this in 3 sets with 30 reps, in which each 10 reps I do it differently. First 10 reps I go down deep, next 10 reps I go medium, closer to my knees, and the last 10 reps I do the front displacement. It will really kill your glutes. And for killing this, I pass to do a squat raising my hands with barbell. It definitely gives you strength strengthening in your core, back, and also keep your glutes. I really love this exercise. When I start this exercise, I begin with the bar and gradually I raise weight to 60 pounds. It is hard to do because challenge your posture equilibrium and you have to be really careful to perform this exercise, but eventually you will get it. First, focus on your posture, back, arms, glutes, and then you will feel that you got it. You try it harder. Definitely this will pump your glutes the best. For finish my workout, I do leg curl machine. This is an easy way to lift heavy so we can try to perform a hypertrophic technique to pump the glutes. I also like to work legs individually so it gets you strengthening in both legs. I like also do cardio exercise between weight exercise because it helped me to burn fat and build also my resistance to start with the routine. After jumps, I pass to do RDLs in cable machine. This challenge your posture, it will kill your glutes and hamstrings but also will help you with your core. Then I pass to lunges to the side in cable machine with lunges to the back. 
It is an excellent exercise to kick the whole body. With this, definitely, you will build your strengthening on your outer and inner part of your glutes. Also, with the lunges to the back, you are kicking your hamstring, glutes, and also your core. I usually do 3 sets with 20 reps. Then I do leg kickback, raising the waist in 4 sets. Curse legs in cable machine, challenge your equilibrium and posture so you are working your glutes but also gain strengthening in your upper body. It is important to focus in the movement to do it all way so you can hit the muscles of your glutes good so do not prioritize way over form. I end this workout with my favorite exercise course lunges. This time I prefer this in cable machine. It really challenged my upper body and core too. You can do it easy and gradually raise your weight. You will see wonderful results if you are consistent. I know it's hard and sometimes we are not in the same mood to work out heavy so just take it easy and gradually get into your fitness goals a smith machine is a good tool to work out glutes it allows you to lift heavy but also it is easy to your back because it creates support and you don't have to deal with equilibrium so a squat in a smith machine allows you to be heavy and have control of the movement so you can go down easy i do three sets with 20 reps trying to work out on the failure. I found really good to do this stretching, tightening my glutes. It really helped to pull my glutes after any exercises. RDLs are perfect combination to hit the glutes. The Smith machine allows you to do heavier in this exercise and also you can go down easily without loss equilibrium. I think that if you are a beginner, it is a great idea to do this exercise to get the proper form. This exercise hit glutes and hamstrings. Then I pass to conventional RDLs. This is more focused on your quads, but also where your glutes and hamstrings. I really love this exercise. It feels easy, it gives you strengthening in your upper body and also work perfect your legs. Cursing lunges also it can be performed here and like I told you before, I think a smith machine allows you to do the exercise easy because it helps you with the equilibrium, also you can do heavier. So this machine is a good tool for beginners to begin with some legs exercises to pass to perform them in a free way. When I say free way, I mean with use the barbell where you have to deal with equilibrium, movement and weight at the same time. And finally, I finish with hip traps. This is a good way to start learning the technique and the movement for this exercise because you don't have to deal with the equilibrium and also you can lift heavier. Like you can do really easy, you can lift their 40 pounds or 50 pounds in each side because the support of the Smith machine. Also, this is a great exercise for where you lose tire your hamstrings. For you do this harder, you can do this with single leg and that way you can work differently and also target different muscles in the glutes. So Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you are already subscribed to the channel. Don't sub to the video guys. Don't forget to get click to the bell so you're gonna receive a notification the next time I post a new video. And this is all guys. Until the next video. Bye bye.